Let's do some Yeah Nas. It's Dusty. That's right, the Dusty edition of Yeah Nas. 300 games. I will put this to you, gentlemen. Is Dusty a top five player of the last 25 years? Yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Oh, nah. I, I think he's just in my top five. He's in my he's top five fifth, just as well. Yeah. I don't have him fit. Uh, it goes Chris Judd. Chris Judd, Chris Judd, Chris Judd, Dusty. Eagles, Chris Judd or Carlton, Chris Judd. I was waiting for Patrick Cripps. <laughs> Patrick Cripps. No, nah, he's, he's, he's not in there. Yeah. Got to be a premiership player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I I have him just out. Who's who's fifth for you then? Adam Above Goods. Him. Adam Goods. Don't mind that. Yeah, checks out. Don't mind that. Interesting vibes. <laughs> yeah. I do like uh, Adam Goods. Danger. I, I think Danger. I have, I have I'll probably bump Danger out. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, we got that later, but we can do we'll that now. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it? Rank them at their best. Why not? Best, best. Gary Ablett Jr. Absolutely the best. I Son think he's God. one. In Gary Ablett's one. Years. Chris Judd. I'd two. say Buddy two. Dusty I'm, Martin. No. Buddy, Danger. I think at, Danger four, Buddy two or three. Oh, I need to think about this. <laughs> at their best. Yeah. It's hard. Gary Ablett Jr. at his best. I'm putting Lance Franklin, Chris Judd. Adam Goods, Danger. Ooh. I'm Robin Nahas, Dusty. is he? Robin Nahas, number one. Uh, <laughs> no, then definitely. Josh Bootsma. <laughs> and Zach and Dawson. Zach Dawson, oh, he's the worst ever. Aaron Hamill. Say, uh, Raph Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Kaczynski. Uh, I'd right. probably run with Ablett. Ooh. Dusty, Judd Man, D- Man uh, of Judd. Dusty two. Yep. Wow. I'm Literally got- at his best. He played in yeah. grand finals yeah, know, and just went and won Norm Smith medals. Longevity. At their no, best we're saying at their, at their best, not 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 the oh, whole career. Fine. Game breaker, yeah, game breaker, their, game breaker. That's why I'm absolutely. That's why I'm saying two. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Chris Judd could absolutely take a game. I reckon the the Ablett Judd, Dusty Danger, buddy. Yeah, yeah. good job. Something like that. <laughs> good chat. Fine. Uh, as Dusty had a better career than Danger, yeah, nah, yes. Oh. Three grand finals, three Norm Smiths and a Brownlow. Danger's got one grand final one and one, one. In Brownlow. In terms of success, yes, but in terms of longevity and a better career in terms of stats, no. Um, I'm, I'm Dusty's say, just I'm going, say no. look at these yeah, six know, medals I've got. But if I, if and then my brown lays around Dusty my neck. Dusty probably had four, four and a half years of dominance. Danger's had probably like ten. No, I'd he say, hasn't. Four, like eight plus, I'd say. Danger, nah. that's all right. That's all right. That's what, that's what about, a year now. Keep that's what a year now. Uh, yeah, just how, how is stats. someone who's won one Brownlow and one flag better than one Brownlow, three Norm Smiths, three flag? I think like he didn't even win a Norm Smith in his <laughs> one grand final. All probably I'm saying is still saying that Isaac Smith was better than him. Ooh. Sorry, Isaac Smith, friend of the program, but geez, give me Danger's game. The miracle of Moggs Creek that was. Danger was better in the last quarter. Isaac yeah. Smith had had 30 no, and three by one. three quarter really time good. when the yeah. game was over. How many goals did he kick in that? Three? Yeah. Four, so, wasn't it? Oh. Isaac Smith had 35 and three. Yeah, awesome. oh, 35 yeah. and three, yeah. Anyway, Insane. Uh, I would take Dusty's overall career just because yep. the highs are the higher. Fair enough. Yeah. Away we go. Fair yeah. Enough. yeah. Is Dusty the greatest finals player of all time? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Who they used to call Mr. September? Was it Lee Matthews? He's yeah. He's known as like the best final Well, Lee Matthews is like known as the greatest of all time. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll still go with Lee but Matthews. I'll still, I'll I wasn't go alive, so I'm sticking with Dusty. Yeah, I agree. Nice one. I mean, you could also throw out Andrew McLeod. I don't know. <laughs> Andrew, yeah, he was great. Hey, yeah. Darren Jarman Darren was pretty Jarman, good. Not bad. <laughs> what about uh, uh, Stewie Dusty Drew? is also yeah. better at using chopsticks than Mr. Miyagi. Oh, yeah, nah. uh, yeah I'll chuck this in there because that was the thing I was talking about. He threatened yeah. someone a while ago with chopsticks I mean, randomly. <laughs> so I thought that who was hasn't really wanted their dumplings to come to them faster? <laughs> Whom yeah. amongst us has not threatened somebody with chopsticks? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'll stab you good. I'll stab we- you good. <laughs> <laughs> like producer homie does it weekly. Oh, that's only to you though, because yeah. you just have a really grating personality. Yeah, uh, is Dusty a better Bonds man than Pat Rafter? <laughs> no, it can't be better than no Pat chance. Rafter. Yeah. Pat Rafter is the <laughs> absolute demigod. Yeah, yeah nah, Pat Rafter nah. was jacked the other day too. Hmm? Looking good, it was. Uh, last one: Can North Melbourne finish higher on the ladder than Dusty? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. How do we sneak in here? What? So finish higher, higher than, than, than uh, what? So get up to six. Then Richmond. Then Richmond. That's then Richmond. No, because Richmond will win this weekend and North won't win again for the rest of the year. I think we'll win, yeah, against West Coast the next time they come here, but we won't be above Richmond. Interesting. <laughs> All right. There's some yeah, nahs. In terms of other ones, I mean, legendary gear, do you sort of see another dusty archetype in the future? Chad I, Warner. Oh, I don't know if it's think, the no, same think about, kind think about, of vibe. But think about the fend. Think about the yeah, pace. Yeah, yeah. Think about the way he shot. can break a game open, game open right now. I'd almost Obviously, argue he's more of a pure midfielder than Dusty too. Yeah, but as of right now, like in the league, he's the closest given. Harley Reid likes the Fend as well, but I think Harley Reid's more of a pure midfielder even yeah, than Chad he, Warner. Yeah. But given nah. the Fend, the explosiveness and the goal-kicking ability, right, 
Chad Warren's going to do it for 10 years. Yeah. He's a long way away I'll from give you, I'll give, I don't mind that comparison. But Will before. anybody else ever win three Norm Smiths? No. Absolutely not. Uh, no. There's no, there's really, hardly any really teams really that even are. make three grand finals. Exactly. So, yeah. Let alone wins three Let alone Not in our lifetime. It's like someone might win two. Actually, she's or might win in the future. We'll yeah, when he plays for, for Tasmania. In uh, 10 years, yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm getting everyone to Tasmania. <laughs> I'm a vibe. Because if you think about the Hawks Norm Smith medal winners, right? Like it's Xavier Ellis was robbed. It's still Ooh, like this absolutely weird. Absolutely robbed. <laughs> it's always like a strange one. So our our good friend of the program as well, Luke Hodge. Yeah. But like it's when you've got a team that good. I honestly it's couldn't really hard to like shine through Brian, three different times. Brian so Lake deserved that so one. So they're four Brian, grand like, finals. Cyril, Hodgey, and who was the other one? Uh, See, that's something I couldn't name all four. I knew Cyril had won one. I knew Brian Lake because I remember Brian Lake drove. Josh Hodge, he, he won two. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah. Do you remember Brian Lake driving the Gatorade truck after the game with his kids on the back? <laughs> that, was just, that was just great. A lot of that time <laughs> blank down in my head was that year they smashed the Swans. Don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's fine. But we'll ever we'll forever remember Jason Johansson. Um, Tom Boyd was also robbed. Tom Boyd slash Josh Kennedy. They were both. Tom one Boyd of them was, was robbed. robbed. Yeah, yeah. All right. Any other news you want to hit on outside this Mianars? No, I think that's all good. Rising apparently Star Isaac, Race. Oh. This is the big thing. What was that? I was going to say apparently Isaac Rankin's back this week. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. Possibly. And Cody Waitman. So this is like this will be, be a good one for Thursday pitch. teams. Yes. Uh, show where we have no Thursday night football this week. Sadly. <sighs> he sighed dramatically. <laughs> uh, but it means that we can actually go through a lot more of the ins and outs and like the sort of potentials. I think we've only got six games too. We've only got six games to talk about. We don't have footy until Friday night. So yep. the Thursday night teams one will be a little bit more. Who will actually get out there who might be still sort of floating around? Because especially when you think about someone like Collingwood, they'll probably have no changes this week, right? Because they've got the buy by the following week. Yep. And that's so, when the likes of Dugowie, Pendles, and Majacek will be back. And that's the thing for a team like Adelaide with rank and hamstring text bat with his bad back. They're playing the Swans. Would you rush them back no or way. give them the extra no week? No chance. You give them an extra week. Might as well. I it's think. weird. Like when I saw Rankin's name pop up, I'm like, what are you doing? Like why? He's also had a history of hammies. They are they, desperate never for a win. Hammies. Is that but it, is that why? I don't know. But it's also like why would you run the risk and give them an extra week off? You yeah, no, I put agree. four extra players out there for the Adelaide Crows this week, and they would still lose against. Them. I agree. It's like yeah. twenty six plays twenty two. Let's go. <laughs> like whatever, man. Like off we go. 